man. This country, you guys, I love living here in the United States. I can't think of anywhere else I'd want to live. Some people say, well, you're Mexican. Wouldn't you rather live in Mexico? Uh, <laughs> I love Mexico. Uh, uh, just visiting, just visiting. Oh, yeah, I like it right here. That's why it kind of bothers me whenever people go, you know, what is it like being a Latino comedian? I go, I don't know. I'm a comedian who happens to be Latino. What's the difference? The difference is my special will air on Comedy Central, not Telemundo. It's hard, you guys. You know, Espanol. If you speak a little Spanish, it freaks people out. Oh my God, he's speaking Spanish. You know, don't get me wrong. I like watching Spanish programming myself. Some of the stuff is really cool. My favorite thing are the commercials because they're always about sex. You don't even know what the product is until like the last two seconds. It's always some model walking out all sexy, right? Hola. Ay, que rico. And on the 28th second, right? Pepsi. And you're sitting there going, I gotta go get a Pepsi. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I have a thing for soda. I love it, man. I know they gave me water, but oh, a soda. <laughs> I didn't even see that right there. Huh? Excuse me, un momento. <laughs> Pepsi. Uh, no, that's actually diet, which is cool. I'm not on a diet, and it's funny because people go, well, then why do you drink diet soda? So I can eat regular cake. <laughs> I love cake, man. Are you kidding? <sighs> By the way, I want to thank the three people who brought me a cake personally. I have them in the back. I really appreciate that. It was very nice of you. The management and the promoters are freaking out. They're like, Gabriel, why do they all bring you cake? I go, because on TV, I talked about one time how much I love cake. And so people bring it. My friend Mondo got mad. He's like, why don't you talk about hookers? <laughs> But yeah, somebody asked me earlier too, they said, Gabriel, when you, when you get to do your special, are you gonna do anything about the country? Are you gonna talk about politics? Well, I'm gonna talk about, first of all, how I love this country and I wouldn't wanna live anywhere else. I know that half the world right now thinks that our leader is the devil, and most of us would agree. <laughs> He's not, uh, uh. I don't have to make fun of the president. He does it by himself, okay? He does it by himself. Every time he comes on TV, I can't wait to hear what he has to say, especially during press conferences, right? Mr. President, question. It's been over a year. What is your plan for Katrina? <laughs> we're gonna find her. <laughs> That's right. And we're gonna bring Katrina to justice. We have every reason to believe Katrina's connected to Al-Qaeda. K to Katrina, they both start with a K. Our president got elected. I didn't vote for him, but then again, I didn't vote for the other guy either. I was just like, mm -hmm. how Bush won is beyond me. Americans, we love to vote, but we don't vote for presidents. We vote for things like American Idol. <laughs> because that's fun. Voting for presidents is not fun. Voting for American history, she bang, she bang. <laughs> That's what they should do for presidents, you know? Just put both guys on TV for one hour. Call it something catchy like, who's gonna run this <laughs> You put them on TV for an hour, let them argue 30 minutes into the special, you put an 800 number on the screen and say, cast your vote, right? You've reached the presidential hotline. For George Bush, press three. John Kerry, press four. Other options, press five. You don't like either one? Press five. Please hold. I knew you'd be back. 